forgot to film the intro to this video because I will tell you what, we got out of the car and we saw piles of shells everywhere. So there are so many shells here today. The good thing is usually when I start filming a video, I don't know if we're gonna find shells, but I guarantee you on today's video, we are finding buckets and buckets of shells. They are everywhere. So I'm not gonna prolong this any longer. One quick shout out, Kim is actually working today, so she wasn't able to join us, it's so sad. But hi Kim. We miss we're, you. We miss you, we're collecting shells for you too. But I'm not gonna prolong this any longer. There are shells to be found, so let's go shelling. So we just got here and there are shells everywhere. Like there is, I have to show you. Look at this rock line. There are shells all the way down the beach in this direction. And we have that entire other side of the beach there. That is my sister, Tracy. We are shelling today. I called it a sunrise sister shell because we literally got up when it was still dark out and we are now at the beach collecting all of this shelly goodness. And we're the only people here, so all the shells are ours. We're super excited. So let's go get them all. Yes, it's one of those nice buttery ones. There's just, I don't know where to look. I keep getting super distracted because I'm trying to like focus on what's in my hand, but I'm also scanning the area around me constantly. And we're like the only ones here, so I have nothing to worry about. Like nobody else is going to get the shells, but like I can't control myself from like, like feeling panicky. Like I have to grab these. It's another cool one down there. Gotta time it right with the water. Okay, let's go get it. And some of them are much larger. Ooh, some of them are much larger than other ones. Some of them are like the size of my palm. There's another one there. Yeah, some of them are like the size of my palm. I kid you not about that. And every time I go to turn off my camera, I'm like, oh, there's more, there's more. Crazy shell day on the Cape. Shell shells everywhere. A nice one under here. Look how cool this rock is too. It has like a lot of smoky quartz in it. And I like the lavender I'm seeing under here. You know how we're used to digging stuff out of rocks? Ooh, that would have been really beautiful. It does have a break on it. It's still gorgeous. We will take that. So I'm on the back side of the jetty and I came over here and it looks like something had like a buffet on all of these scallops and clams and shells. I don't know, it could have been a seal or something, but it looks like someone had a feast over here. The shells are really nice that they left behind. Nice arc shell here. Nice amber color. This is for sure a collection ad. Huge. I do love digging through these shell piles. hear that sound of like the rain hitting my jacket. 
<laughs> Sounds kind of neat. So I hope this shell is whole because it is beautiful. So a lot of like little slippers and blood arc shells around it, but you just see this peeking out of the sand and the colors on it. <laughs> and it is, it is whole. Look at that. Look at that shell. We are getting so many wonderful gifts from the ocean today. I'm keeping my camera on because there's just so much good stuff. On the rock line. like a Halloween shop. Nice orange and black. So pretty. Look at how chestnutty this color is. And those ridges. Reminds me of a potato chip. A really, really pretty potato chip. I'm like, shell, 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 shells. Shells everywhere. Shells all over the beach today. Oh yeah, look at the colors on this one. That is fiery. Total fiery shell. Get that more up close for you. Total fiery shell. This shell is on fire. Got some egg casings here from a whelk. You can see inside if I can focus on that. There are a bunch of baby baby whelks in there. We'll see if we can find one that is a bit more dried out. We don't know if these are still alive, so we're gonna put this back into the ocean. Some really cool orangey pink scallops. Look at the way that seaweed just falls like that when the tide brought it out. But we are having a banner day here at Calmus Beach in Barnstable, Massachusetts. Wow, look at this one. And this one. So nice. So I'm hoping that you can see all these and see them clearly because like I said, you can see in my jacket, it is pouring out and I'm getting a lot of water on the lens of my camera. So I'm hoping that none of this is too blurry because it is too good to be missing, honestly. Wow. This is like a showstopper shell. Total, total showstopper shell. So I had to run this one over to my sister to share it. Cause like, this is a showstopper. Oh my God, that is. Wow. It's like a sunset shell. It absolutely is. Look at all the warm oranges and it's just so saturated with color. Just when you think you've seen the prettiest one. You have not, it's so buttery. Buttery shells. So we have a strategy. Tracy is searching this rack line and I am on the lower rack line. Then we're gonna search the jetty. Then we're gonna head back all the way down to the other direction and we're gonna search the upper and lower rack line and then check out that jetty. So I just invaded my sister's rack line. She's like, get off my rack line. Uh, there's plenty for both of us, I'll tell you. <laughs> Look at all of that. I'm just going to do a quick pan of it. I'm not going to take any of the shells from it, but I just need to show you what we're dealing with here. There 
are just shells everywhere. Piles of shells. There are shells everywhere. These are broken, but look at the colors. Cool. Look at these crazy shell piles. There are shells everywhere on this beach. So many different species, so many different kinds. Oyster shells. Blood arc shells. Beautiful chest lily slipper shells with those really cool patterns on them. Not to mention like all of the different color bay scallops. So that is one of the things. Oh, jingle shells. You keep going on like with all the different ones. But that is one of the things that I really enjoy about living where we do. Because we have the shells that we find on Plum Island. And then just a short drive away, we have the Cape shell. So the Cape actually is like a natural barrier for species range. So what's really cool about that is we find all the variety of shells on Plum Island that they don't find here on the Cape. And then when we come to the Cape, we find all the shells that we find here that we can't find on Plum Island. So we have like really like the best of both worlds for cold water shelling. So that's just a little tip if you ever plan to come for a visit to this area. Don't forget about the Cape. You know, we have all the beautiful shells on Plum Island, but they have some amazing shells here. So I'm collecting a variety of shells today, including some of these little slippers because I just think they're so adorable and I really like the markings on them. And I think it would be fun to fill a jar with them. So I'm collecting a little bit of everything. Also because I've been getting a lot of emails from some warm water shellers that want to add some cold water shells to your collection. So I'm going to try to collect a little bit more variety so that I can put them on my Etsy page. Sorry, I'm still looking around. I'm getting distracted by things that I see caught up in the rocks. But I think that would be really fun if I added some more variety because we have such great shells here on the Cape, as well as Plum Island. So I love that I'm able to show you that today. Take a little road trip with my sister. Kim was not able to make it. She had to work today, very sad. But these are the things that we are collecting today in abundance. So I'm gonna try to get these up. Actually, these should be on my Etsy page right now if you want to check it out, if you're looking for shells to add to your collection. I've been trying to be better about that. Get some shells, film it in the video. You can watch me film them in the video. You can see us find them. And then if you want to, you can purchase some for your collection. So it's kind of fun, fun thing to do. We can shell together and collect together. So many things still washing up. I mean, look at this. Watch when the water recedes. Look at all that stuff waiting to be pushed up here onto the beach. And we're still the only ones here. Probably because it's pouring out. <laughs> Who would be crazy enough to shell in the rain? Me and Tracy. all those etchings and the size of some of these are like the size of my palm so my favorite movie is Jaws and there's a line from that movie we are gonna need a bigger boat and whenever we're shelling I'm always like we are gonna need a bigger bag especially when we have days like this.
there's so many shells. Look at like this one's even hinged. It's like a hinged blood arc. I've never, I never found a hinged blood arc before. Look at the hinged skeleton. And look at the back of this. Hold on, I'll trade you. I'll trade you. Trade. Wow. That's cool, Tracy. You're gonna have to hold. Ooh, I almost dropped it just now. You're gonna have to hold this because I'm gonna break it. All the hidden stuff. <laughs> I feel like if we dig in these piles, we might... That's what I was thinking about. Might find some stuff. I'm afraid to walk on them, though. I don't want to break anything. Look, another one. Look okay. at That would have been a channeled walk. Really nice one. That would have been a really cool channeled walk. Ooh, look at this. So this is something I've never found before. So this is a first time find for me. Yes. This is the operculum to a whelk. And I don't know if it's a knobbed whelk or a channeled whelk. Those are very common here on the Cape. I have not found one yet, but I feel like I keep getting closer and closer. But this is an operculum to one of them. I'll just hold that up to the sky. We don't have a lot of sun today. And they're not as transparent as the operculums we find for the moon shells that are like that ambery color. But this is a first time find for me and I am super excited about this. And again, these shells just keep getting more and more unbelievable and incredible. Another very nice. Oh, look at this oyster shell. I gotta rinse this off. Hold on, we need to we need a better look at this. Northern oyster. Let's rinse this. I don't want to get too close yet because. Look at how beautiful that is. All those really cool layers. So that is a northern oyster shell. There's like piles upon piles of slipper shells. Look at this. More pieces of whelk taught to us. Some slipper shells in here. Some really cool iridescent jingle shells. These are super fragile too. So these are jingle shells. You can find these two here on the Cape. That's a nice big blood arc shell. Look at the size of that one. That'll look really nice all cleaned up. Super rainy today. Ooh, look at these. Okay, so there's that one. But then look at these, right next to each other. So there's that one over there and this one over here. Two totally different colors, but same species of shell. We have like handfuls of these that we are collecting. The colors are really incredible. I'm having such a good time. Like we just hit this pocket where they're everywhere. Everywhere. Let's see if I can focus a little bit better on these. Look at the colors. I am definitely loving today. I cannot get over some of the colors of these shells. Shells everywhere. Ooh, 
this is a nice, I wish this was whole. So let me see if I can zoom out on this a little bit or zoom in on it rather. But this is a hybrid shell. It is a cross between a Southern Quahog and a Northern Quahog. And the reason why they did these is because the Southern Quahogs grow really fast. So they created a hybrid so that it would grow faster in the North. But check out those zigzag patterns on it. I do hope we find a whole one of these today. This is one of my favorite shells that I do come to the Cape for. So we'll see if we can find more of these today. This looks like it could be a ribbed mussel. Look at that beautiful rainbowy laker. And it is actually not a ribbed mussel, it looks like a horse mussel. So it looks like a small horse mussel. Really pretty iridescent rainbowy laker on the inside. There's just so many shells now. There's I, like I don't have enough hands to collect anymore. So many shells. I just can't even believe this. How many there are? Oh my god. They're everywhere. It's like jackpot. jackpot shells. I like the hunt like when there's not like an abundance of shells in a place because it makes it exciting when you do find something but there is also something really cool about when you're in a place like this and they're everywhere. Almost got wet there. Nice here. So the top shell there, that is a blood arc shell. And this is another base scallop down here, but I really love the pattern on this base scallop shell with those creamy rays that shoot up from where it would be hinged. So I'm gonna rinse these so you can take a better look at them. Totally got wasted on that one. But check that out. Look at those. Those are really gorgeous shells. So the blood arc on the top, that is another very common shell here that we find on the Cape along with the base scallop. So two common shells, but I always say they're common shells, but there are really nothing common about these shells, especially the base scallops because they come in so many different shapes, sizes, and colors. Another super common shell is the slipper shell. And I don't normally collect these, but this is a really beautiful one because I like the banding on it and the different colors. So they call it a slipper shell because it looks like a little slipper, like you can slide your foot right into that, or a boat shell because it looks like a deck to a boat. But this one is really beautiful, so I think I am going to add this to our Plum Island Sea Cabin collection. Very common shell here on the Cape. They are native here but super invasive. Oh, Tracy, that's beautiful. Isn't that incredible? What can I see? Yeah. Look at all the different colors in that. That is really good. I saw it from like a couple feet away and I just love, oh my God, it's so gorgeous. It's so pretty. Got more wampum. Wampum, wampum, wampum. Wampum wampum, look at that purple. And yes, today we are singing about seashells because we are having a really good day. Another one of those hard shell clams and you can see along the edge here, it is a little bit purpley. So we are expecting, that is a good telltale that that shell on the other side is gonna be super purpley. So let's take a look. And it is, look at that, that is a nice, Beautiful wampum. Wowza. These literally come in like every color you could think of. And I love all the little black tips along the interior edge. It's a nice little detail for the inside of these. So this is something down here that I've never seen on the Cape before, and I'm hoping that it's whole. It looks to me like an Atlantic deep sea scallop, and it looks pretty large in size. I just really hope that it's whole. This would be an awesome score for us. Ah, it's broken. 
Let's rinse it off though, I'll give you a better look at it. So we typically find these on Plum Island. We've been getting really lucky with them lately and finding a ton of them, but that would have been a really nice Atlantic deep sea scallop. So that makes me hopeful though. Maybe we will find more of these here. This will be, this is actually my first time ever finding one of these here. So I didn't know that I could find these here. So this gets me a little bit excited. So if we found this piece, maybe we will find more. So we're also gonna be on the lookout for some of these. Some of these, I can't get over the purple on these wampums. So you can kind of tell when you look down, you can see that the purple is showing through to the top. And when you see that, you know when you flip it over, it's gonna have some crazy purple underneath it. So let's see if uh, my theory applies. And it does. Look at how beautiful the purple is on this piece of hard shell clam. That is really beautiful. I'm gonna collect like a bunch of this today because it is literally everywhere on the beach. So many great pieces of it. And what I normally do is I'll like grab a bunch of it and fill like a little glass jar. And it looks really beautiful sitting on a shelf, especially when you put it like on a windowsill and the sun is shining through it and you have all like the purple and the sun glistening through it. So that is one of my goals for today is to collect as much purple as we can find. So it was another banner day of shelling for us. We found a ton of great finds. You found a ton of stuff, right, Tracy? I did. I've done scallop shells all the way. The scallop shells all the way today. But thank you so much for shelling with us, and we will see you next time we hit the beach. Bye.